What's up everybody? It is time for another One Take Bag Review and we've got something special for you this time today. We are reviewing this bag. This is the M-Case City Compact Backpack. I'm excited to share this one with you. It's uh, a really unique colorway in the diamond ripstop white pattern. Um, so we're going to get right into the review right after this. <music> Let's do it. Let's talk about this amazing backpack, the MK City Compact. There's two different city bags from Incase and a lot of great backpacks from Incase. It's a very tech focused backpack and carry company. So the City Compact is a smaller, lighter, slimmer version of the Incase uh, City backpack. I've got that one too. We'll do another review on that one in a little while, I'm sure. But today we're going to do the City Compact. Uh, you can find this one online for around $75. There's a lot of different colorways. There's a classic black. There's a really nice khaki brown bag and this white diamond stop, which is my favorite. I love the look um, and we're going to dive right in. So you guys know what we do on this channel. We do a one take review, no cuts, no fanciness, no edits, just me talking to you about this bag and telling you an overall walk through the bag and two things that I love about the bag, two things that we don't love as much about the bag, and an overall recommendation. You know, should you buy this bag? So let's jump right in. We're gonna do a walk through the exterior first. This particular style of the bag is a really nice diamond ripstop. Um, it's beautiful exterior material. Um, you would think it would get dirty, but I haven't had that problem. It looks brand new. I've been wearing it for a while, testing it out for you guys, and. I've had no issues with exterior quality, with tears, with it holding dirt or hair or anything else like that. So, you know, I give an A plus to the outside material. The black looks uh, really nice as well. All the colors look good. Uh, I like the form factor too. We'll turn this around. You can kind of take a look at the bag. It's a nice looking bag. I'm a fan. Um, so on the exterior, as you walk around, um, you've got really comfortable straps um, and a ventilated back. Uh, so you, I think you'd really like it. I gotta say, it, it is super comfortable to wear, like uh, super comfortable. And then on the back, you've also got um, some attachment points. I've got some sanitizer on this one, but you can clip things from these attachment points. Uh, and uh, you've got a very nice little in case logo on the back here. And then switching around to the front, it looks like you've got two pockets here, but this, not a pocket, just a design feature. You do have a pocket right here. This is gonna be very hard to show you, but I'm gonna do my best. Inside this bag, you actually have your admin pocket. Your organizer is in this pocket. But look how deep this thing is. It doesn't even just go down to this false bottom. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. It's just a drop pocket that you can toss anything into. Then you have another pocket behind that. You can see here. Again, this is kind of, if you're a, a regular viewer of this channel, you know I always have my camera equipment with me. So I've got that stashed in this front pocket here. And then, oh, and by the way, my air, my air tag, just toss one of these in your bag, literally anywhere in your bag. And if you walk away from your bag, you'll get a notification on your phone that you left your backpack. Pretty cool tip. So what else do we have in here? Just the usual in the admin, a pocket knife, pins, Sharpie, flashlight, but a pretty normal, typical admin pocket, but a lot of room in the drop pocket. So really nice. Your next pocket you have is up top. So it is up top here and it is a huge, huge convenience pocket. It is lined with a faux fur, really nice material. And you can drop sunglasses, cell phones in here, AirPods, my reading glasses, all kinds of knickknacks. Little Neosporin, wallet, extra SD cards. So tons of stuff will fit in this pocket. Extra, extra convenient easy to get into and out of, and the zipper pulls are this really kind of nice, easy to grab bent plastic piece. 
really nice, clean. Then you get to the main compartment. So no back laptop compartment on this bag, one main compartment. Zip it down, it goes a little bit beyond halfway down the side of the bag on the zipper pull, and it doesn't kind of flap all the way open. You're looking at a, a bag that kind of clamshells open about halfway. So if flipping all the way open is an important thing for you, that's gonna be a problem on this bag. So inside, you've got a laptop sleeve in the back, again, lined with this faux material and with a false bottom to protect your laptop. Here's a Surface Book in here. This is a 15 inch laptop. Fits uh, really easily. 17 inch I think will fit too, uh, but it'd be just a little tight in the corners, but I don't think you'd have a problem with it. I also have a tablet in there. AirPods Max, and you can even put more stuff, a gimbal, you can fit a ton of stuff down in this bag, it's huge. And then in addition to that, you've got a fabric stretch pocket on the side, I've got power cords, got power bricks in here, so tons of room on the inside of this bag. It's not, it's not a travel backpack. You're, like, you're not gonna put a change of clothes in here. You could maybe get one gym outfit in here if you sacrifice some other stuff. And I think on some of the newer versions of this bag, there's even an interior water bottle pocket, um, which is a good addition to this bag. Um, so uh, that's the full walkthrough of the bag. It's a really nice backpack, carries just the right amount of stuff for um, your daily carry that is tech focused. Not a ton of organization, but you've got one big pocket with the organizer and a drop pocket, a thin pocket behind that, uh, your fleece lined pocket on the top, and your main compartment with one stretch panel inside here and a nice laptop sleeve. Um, it's, you know, really, really nice. So, two things we love about this bag. So, number one, beyond a shadow of a doubt, this is one of the most comfortable backpacks that I've ever worn. Between the materials, the, the faux fur, the really thick cushioning on the, the straps, the layout of the straps and the width of the straps, the, the really nice uh, back it ventilates incredibly well. It just, even when I've got it fully loaded, it feels light, it feels just the right size. The grab handle is this nice seatbelt material. So comfort, like A plus, 10 out of 10. Um, it is an insanely comfortable backpack. The next thing I would give it a 10 out of 10 for, and it's the second thing that I really love about this bag, is the usefulness of the pockets on this bag. So um, there's not too many. I'd like one more one more pocket on the inside right back here i would like one more pocket but that's it the i mean this pocket up top is insanely useful the interior pocket is just the right size for all my power cords um, the laptop sleeve is really nice the admin pocket and the drop pocket up front even when you stuff it full of stuff never really bulks out too bad um, and the bag keeps its shape the bag, when loaded, stands really nicely on its own. Um, so, a lot of lots to love about the bag. The perfect number of pockets that function all really, really well, um, and then the material and comfort. Um, so, what are the two things that I don't like about this bag? Well, honestly, the first thing I don't like about this bag is really simple. It's right here one laptop sleeve. So I think this bag would have benefited from a laptop sleeve with a tablet sleeve. I mean, it. there's a lot of people out there that carry one laptop and a tablet, and it wouldn't have been too hard with the size of this bag to add the second sleeve. Um, and I wish they had done it. You can drop a laptop and a tablet in there, but then it gets hard to, get, to kind of fish out the one that you want without the other one falling out too. So. Um, that would be one thing that I would change about this bag. Um, I would drop an extra tablet sleeve in there. Um, what's one more thing that um, I don't love about this bag? I don't love that the bag doesn't open all the way. So 
that makes this bottom part of the bag something you kind of have to fish down into to get the stuff that you've dropped in there. Uh, I would like for these strap, these zippers to go all the way down. Um, and there's really no reason for them not to because there's not exterior uh, water bottle pockets here. Um, even if one of them went all the way down and you could kind of three quarter flap it open on the side, I would like that a little bit better. So, $75, should you buy it? I think it's worth the money, um, but you know, what I would say is this, if you're looking for an insanely comfortable backpack, I think you should try this. And, and I think you'll be very happy with it. But I don't think there's enough that separates it from every other backpack on the market, including some that are, to be fair, you know, in the 35 to 50 dollar range that, you know, don't, this doesn't really distinguish itself from those in any measurable way. Um, it is a great company, the materials are durable, it's gonna last. Um, but yeah, should you buy it? I think it's bad you could buy if you really enjoy the look and if you're really prizing comfort over everything else. So, that's my review of the Incase City compact backpack. I've enjoyed wearing it. It's one that I'm definitely going to keep in my connection. You're gonna see it hanging on the bag wall. I like the bag a lot. I'm glad I have it and I'm glad it's in the kind of in the rotation for me. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. It, do you have this bag? What do you think of it? Is it one that you find yourself grabbing and loading up every now and again um, for your carry? All right, well that's it for today everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, and as always, if you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. We're gonna keep doing reviews. And let me know if there's a bag or an everyday carry item that you'd like to see me review. Um, we've still got a ton of backlog to work through, so please subscribe, hit the bell. You'll see uh, new videos every single week on this channel. But everybody, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Thanks a ton for watching. Bye-bye.